Meanwhile, Pick and Pay has announced a larger loss for the first half of this year as it continues its turnaround efforts. The supermarket group's loss before tax rose by 25.7% to 1.1 billion rand, impacted by trading losses and higher borrowing costs. Moreover, its after-tax loss increased to 827.4 million rand from 571.3 million rand last year, resulting in a headline loss per share of 136.6 cents. However, group turnover grew by 3.7% to 56.1 billion rand, with positive trends in clothing and online sales, indicating potential improvements ahead. Analyst Job Pabulia provides further analysis on the results. Pick and Pay released results for the 26 weeks ended 25th August 2024. Headline loss per share came in at 136.60 cents. This was in line with recent guidance from management. Revenue increased 3.7% to 56.1 billion rand, and this was also in line with recent guidance. A boxer sales grew 12%, and boxer makes up approximately 35% of group sales, so this was quite positive. Pick and pay sales decreased 0.3% with the road to recovery being quite a bumpy one. Clothing grew 9.8% and it continues to do well with the group reporting market share gains, which was another highlight. Online sales also continues to impress. While the result was weak, the group does expect trading conditions to improve over the second half of the period. No interim dividend was declared and it will pick and pay will likely not pay any dividends until the two-step recapitalization plan has made meaningful progress and the group returns to profitability. Nevertheless, we look forward to Black Friday and festive season trading, which could actually prop the group up for a healthier second half.